Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Real Talk. I pray you're doing well as we thank the most time for so much. Um, this video response back says, you have to be careful what you say about the man of the most high. Um, I've gotten five different emails uh, with that video that's posted about Pastor Darby. Um, and I, I'm going to say this. Um, whenever you speak truth, once again, you're going to always have somebody that disagree. Um, the disagreement was um, in the video, Pastor Darby said that Jesus was the son of man and not the son of God. Now, if you've been studying for years, or if, you, if, you have, if you have been seeing debates, that's been one of the hugest debates for years about why the Bible called him the son of man. And then you see different translations also call him the son of God. Now, me personally, as I responded back in one of my emails, big shout out to you, you know who you are. I said, I know exactly what he mean in that teaching, but everybody's not going to agree with that teaching. Just like you have this debate about the fallen angels, or as the book of Enoch calls them, the watchers. Some big time scholars debate that they were called the sons of man, and they wasn't. They were actually the sons of God. They was, they was the fallen ones. So... According to what you study, how you study, and when people don't study what you study, a lot of times there will be confusion because so many people are so quick to write off something they never heard before. Because when you break it all the way down, God is spirit. But when Darby was explaining him coming in the form of man and had to learn everything, I understood that because I, that's not the first time I've heard that teaching. That's why I say I can agree with that teaching and I understand also why people see it the other way. But when you have all these different translations, first of all, the Jews, the Hebrews didn't refer to him as Jesus in no way. So it's, it's, it's so much that people are so quick to post where well, he said this, he said that, and, um, and blast on them, just like people said they didn't agree with Pastor Darby reading the, uh, the Apocrypha. A lot of people don't agree with the Apocrypha. A lot of people don't believe with the believe in the law's books. Pastor Darby does. So, and I want this is the point I want to make. Just because you don't agree with somebody, and you don't see it their way, that don't make them a false teacher. All the time, excuse me. I see that all the time on the internet. Just because somebody will don't agree with that, he false, he fake. I don't. Where is that at? It, it ain't in the King James Bible. Everything that people are teaching a lot of times is deeper than the King James Bible. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not saying that to disrespect the King James Bible. You got to go past the King James Bible if you really want to get some true understanding. And I mean it out of love because they were not speaking in English. So you got these Hebrew words. Uh, some may say Aramaic. These words are being translated. And the question is, what actually did they speak in? You see what I'm saying? That's the confusion that a lot of people have. But I seen the video, and then the thing I don't like about the video, they only put a clip on there to prove they want point, which is what I call proof text theology. It, it, it just like I tell people all the time when, when they see me teaching about the fallen angels, I don't agree with the fallen angels. I don't agree with that. Fine. That don't make me a false teacher because you don't believe in the fallen angels. You don't believe in the giants. You don't believe that the... the um, that, that the watchers actually made it with the daughters of men, as the Bible says. Same Bible you read and had sex with them and created Netflix. You don't have to believe that. But that don't make me a false teacher. You know, it's it's it's, it's the thing is, all the different cultures, um, so many teachings out here now, so many different Bibles, so many translations. It's, it's so much confusion, you know. But I'll be the first to take a stand and say, um, Ain't no way in hell I would call Pastor Stephen Darby of Destin Ministries a false teacher, a false leader. But I've seen those comments. So those people that, that do all that, you know, I pray for them. Because you got to really truly, when you when you watching Pastor Darby, you got to understand Pastor Darby is going past the King James Bible. Well, I don't agree with people going past the King James Bible. I do. Because I understand how the Bible was tampered with. So if you're going to get some real truth also, you're going to have to dig deeper. Like my brother was saying in his email, he dug deeper. So, and I've had five people send me that video. I watched the whole video. I did. I see the uh, brother that's talking. I see his points. Um, 
I understand why he's saying what he's saying, but I also understand what King, uh, not King James, I also understand what Pastor Darby is saying in that teaching because I too have studied that a long time ago. That's why I always ask people right now, where is Christ at right now? Most people to see, most people to say on a, he's sitting on the throne with the Father. When you break it all the way down, God is not a man, but it takes people to really understand that that teaching because he wrapped himself up in flesh and came, but he's not coming in flesh no more. So how is he in error when he says he was the son of man? When they looked at him as the carpenter's son, I understand that teaching. I can I can go real deep with that teaching, but I'm not for time's sake. But when you hear me say I understand this point, I understand your side, I understand his side, 